Hiya friends, how you all doing? I am super excited to be bringing episode number two, straight one, process video for you for my new Disney scrapbooking series. So today I'm going to be working on a 12 by 12 Project Life or pocket page layout and these photos contain uh, photographs from the parade so they're all very bright and colourful um, so I was so excited to be working with these. So first of all I started with this, um, they're all 4 by 6 photos and you'll see that I sort of cut and chop them down to fit my, my needs, my wants um, in my layout. So first of all I'm just starting with this photograph of Olaf, one of my favourite characters and um, just using a sticker from one of my sticker sheets and using a little heart again from the sticker sheet now if you haven't already seen episode one um, that details exactly what I have in my kit so if you'd like to go back and look at episode one um, to swoon over my products that I have to use um, I'll leave a link down below as well for you and again just adding in one of these little uh, flare and a couple of staples and a little word sticker that says photo op and that one is done so next I'm moving on to the card um, in the right hand side I believe no I'm going to the one of Woody so down the bottom left and I do apologise some of this is off screen at the bottom my camera was slightly tilted when filming this so massive apologies but it will come back in shot in a minute so I've just used I've just cut down a um, piece of pattern paper and it will be either the one from I think it's the one from Echo one of the ones from Echo Park um, if you want to know which one it is then just head back over as I said to the video of the products that I'm using and I'm just going through the sticker pack and just grab one of the little red stickers to tie in. Now just at the bottom of this card, really simple, just run some um, some of the Mickey Mouse washi tape along the bottom. Um, and then I used a um, an ephemera piece that looks like a rosette to the right hand side. Popped a little um, word sticker on that said Magical Memories and just one of the little tiny um, label stickers as well. And so next I'm on to the one on the right and I'm just going through the 4x6 cards that I have and this is going to be almost like a title card um, but the title is going to go on the left hand side of the layout which will be the next Project Life one that goes up, uh, the next video that will go up um, but just randomly I started working on the right hand side these, these pictures spoke to me a bit more than the ones on the other side so on this one it's going to be a very very simple uh, layout Now I had these puffy MM um, stickers that I was kindly gifted in some happy mail and I just placed those on top of the camera used a tiny word sticker that said a dream is a wish your heart makes and again my Mickey Mouse buttons I wasn't too sure whether I was going to incorporate in them in this um, because of their colours but the white one would work absolutely fine so I just use some glossy accents to stick that down and that card is done how quick how simple was that and then next, moving on to this one of um, Snow White. Now, this is probably my favourite photo that we took um, when we were... Um, these photographs were from... These are from Disneyland in California um, when we went in 2015. Now, I haven't scrapped any of my Disney photos and we've been three times and it'll be a fourth time this year. So I felt it was time to get a bit of a move on and, um, and actually get them done. So I didn't want to cut this one down too much, but that card there, um, just it spoke to me. The yellow, the red, I knew it would tie in really well with this photo. So I cut it down and then I attached it just with a bit of um, washi tape on the back. And then I'm just lining it up on my trimmer to get it down to a 4 by 6 size. And that's a really good tip as well. You can, you know, join cards onto photos, just bit of washi tape on the back just be careful not to cut them down too much um, that's what I said I just sort of lined it up and then I made the cut so next I'm just going through the ephemera pieces and I use this little orange tray it's perfect just to spread the ephemera pieces out and I found a little geotag that said magic is here 
So I just used um, a sticky dot just to give that a little bit of height and pop that on top of the photo. And yeah, not really much else going on with this card. Another little die cut that says wish and just cut in the side of it. I did a scribbly border, scribbly black border around the heart. Um, I found an arrow sticker, a little black and white arrow sticker that I popped on as well. And also a tiny word sticker that said real magic. And apart from that, that card is pretty much done. There we go, I'm just finding the, I think it's the arrow I'm sticking down here. I'm already ahead of myself on this video. Procrastinating too much by the looks of things. And I found the tiny word sticker yet. Yep, I have. So yeah, real magic. And the card is done. So then next is the final card down the... Oh no, I've got one more to go. Getting too excited, you see. Um, so this photograph was uh, one of Jessie from Toy Story, one of my favourite films, or series of films, should I say. So I just cut this one down um, so you can see the pattern paper all the way around the edge of the photo. And again, it's the pattern paper's all from my kit that I've made up. And I chose this one because it's black and white, and I was just trying to pull the black and white in from the camera on the right-hand side of it. And I used a uh, one of the little photo clear photo stickers. Uh, it said, what a bunch of characters. And a little sticker that said, totally worth the wait. And then I went to write, I love parades, because I found a little sticker that said parades. And I decided, well, this album is, is mine and my husband's, although I um, obviously decorate it. So I changed that to, we love parades. And just popped a staple in there just for a bit of decoration and yeah I found a little gold star as well um, just to pull the gold down to the bottom side of the of the photo as well and then finally I found this little tab that said today and again it was the black and it was the red and it just pulled in perfectly so don't don't be scared to have things uh, hanging out the top of your pockets just be careful that it's not going to sort of interrupt the photograph above um, above it and obviously make sure it's coming out the top of the pocket and not the bottom because it won't go in your pocket and that card is finally done and then finally on to the bottom right, this is the final card in this layout. So again I've got this photograph of the green men from Toy Story and there wasn't really much else in the photo so I was quite happy to cut this down. And I went through the uh, 3x4 cards to decide which one that I was going to use. And I have wanted something that I could, um, I could journal on um, only because there was nowhere else on this page that um, that I felt that I could fit or that I wanted to fit journaling on. So again, I did the washi tape trick by sticking the two, the photograph and the journaling card together and cutting that down to a four by six size so it would fit in the pocket. And then I just went round the journaling card with my black pen to create some faux stitching. Again, just bringing the black down and adding a bit of interest down there as well. And then next, just onto my journaling I think I'm doing here. But don't worry, I don't make you sit and watch that. So I just add, um, I found this little banner piece in the ephemera which I loved. And it was perfect just to fill the uh, the blank spot um, to the top right of the photo and then just going through my stickers and I found a sticker that said Main Street and that's where this parade was taking place so I added that one on and then again just sifting through seeing if there's anything else that I want to include and I found a sticker that said Best Trip Ever and just add a little gold heart as well onto that just to bring the gold from the top down to the bottom of the layout and I fuss here to see if there's anything else that I want to include but nope I think that is pretty much done and how quick and simple was that now if I can do it you guys can do it so 
I'd love if you guys would scrap along with me. If give, this gives you a bit of momentum to have a go at getting your Project Life albums, your Disney trips up to date, and I'll see you all for the next episode. Here's some close-ups just before I go. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe for more. See you all next time. Bye.